It's day one of the final matriculation exams. Uh, let's go back to the Minister of Basic Education, uh, Minister Angie Mucheha, who is doing her final inspections before 9 a.m. And that's when the exam paper actually starts. Uh, the World Cup, do you anticipate that, or were you able to get the message across to all the matric learners that it is business as usual today and you're expecting that none of them would have picked up on the false messages to stay away because of that? Okay, Minister, can you take another question so that any other question, the Minister has to leave really in five, six minutes. So let's try cover everyone. Okay. No, the MEC will help me with even provincial statistics. Nationally, we estimate more than a million because we're also including your, your IEBs and all other independent exams. From the public uh, system, nationally, we're at seven, 779,337. So that's what we have for your full time. For your part time, they were at 181,000, which takes us close to about 900,000. Then you calculate your IEB, your independent exams, because they are also sitting for exams, and all other ind independent exam bodies. And in total, there, there'll be a million young people sitting for exams now. In terms of logistics, that's what we are here for more than anything, more than wishing them well. I mean, when the MEC did his uh, ceremony, it was to wish them well. We wish them well also in terms of, uh, of messages that we sent to them. The main thing was to get a feel in one of the schools if everything that we say we've put in place has worked the way we had planned. And we did get a briefing in the morning from the principal, from the collection of papers, and to the readiness of learners. Uh, because there are quite a number of things which can go wrong. They can leave their IDs at home. They can leave their exam papers at home, just to see if everything is uh, uh, as planned. And from the principal's briefing at this school, Nothing seems to have been a difficulty. But what we do as a system, daily we get reports. If there are learners who came with, without IDs, if there are learners who came for the wrong papers, they had registered for, high, for either um, maths lead, they are coming for a maths paper, or they've, they've, they've registered for an English first additional language, whereas they're supposed to receive English additional language. So there will be those technicalities that we have to deal with on a daily basis. And daily, I get reports, the MEC gets reports on a daily basis, what could have happened. And those are the usual difficulties that we find. We find. We find. Yesterday, I did indicate that uh, in addition to the auditors that we use to really check our systems, if they're in place, there are no breaches. We also worked with a state agency to also verify, to say these are the our systems, can you audit and give us assurance, that's it. In terms of the school holiday, it would be quite mischievous even of these kids when we have not said there's no school, they decide that there's no school. That there's no school. If we have not said it, which means it's not there. And that's what I assumed. And I'm glad, I think people understand that the Springboks day was on Saturday. Today is the matriculants day, and we, we can't mix the two. Yes. So it's the exam season, the season of the uh, of the spring, of, of, of our matriculants. We've been watching Springboks playing France play. So they had their season. So this is the season of matriculants, and I do hope that everybody get the message right, and even themselves don't listen to things that this is their time, and they should not listen to anything which we have not said is happening. So let me see. You can give me the figures of how they. Because I have the national figures in my head. Okay, thank you, Minister. Uh, how we've got uh, 132,000 full time, and uh, all in all is 191. So about 59,000 are part time. It's, it's a big chunk of the national part time uh, as we're presenting the figures. Mm -hmm. So logistically, everything is is going correctly. We have not had any glitches up until now. Uh, there's no communication. Uh, I just checked with the HOD. Uh, nothing, so everything is going according to plan. The learners are ready, we prepared them very well, okay. and we are confident that our kids will do well mm -hmm. in this examination. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm actually, I left this one. I'm quite happy to see that in Gauteng, they have a, huge, a big number of your part-time learners, which shows that when kids, young people migrate into Gauteng, as they look for jobs, they also look to improve their education. Uh, and that's why they have a bigger number of part-time, because Gauteng has the largest number of our part-time learners. Yes, thank you, Minister. HOD, anything to add? Uh, nothing specifically, I just want to wish all, all our grade 12, all of the best in this exam. We are hoping that Gauteng will emerge victorious in terms of the outcome come January. You want thank your you. number one back, thank you. Uh, exactly. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Um, Mm. Yeah, Continue quickly. Okay. 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 Minister, are there tighter controls this time around to prevent the leaking of uh, papers? No, you forget, Janet. The last time we had a leak was 2020. And it happened here in Gauteng at the warehouse where one of the printers, or person who worked for the printing house, leaked a paper. And that's why we brought state security for vetting. Even at the, because that's where we had a problem. And that's the other reason we brought state security for vetting, even of people who are in the printing houses, warehouses, and all sorts of things. That's the last time we had a leak. The last year's problem in Pumalanga, it's not a leak. It was a mischief by uh, a, a, an educator. As you see, 9 o'clock, they're going to start opening the papers, ask them to read the paper before they start writing. At that point, we were told she removed the paper went to photocopy and got people to, 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 to answer some of the questions, to get solutions, for instance, if it's a maths paper. And then some of the kids, which means they'd already prepared them. When they go in, we take their cell phones. So apparently some of the kids had two cell phones. So they hand over the other one they're hiding. Mm -hmm. And then when they're in class, then they then communicate outside. So it was not so much of a leak, but it was just a mischief caused by an adult and it was a team of them, not even one adult. So it's not a leak. So for the past, since 2020, we're in 2023, we've never had a leak, and I hope we don't have. Thank you, Minister. In fact, it was exactly at this time when the teacher opened the paper to you tonight. She opens a paper at 20 so minutes before, you took the extra paper, went to go and make copies, copies. and got answers sent to kids. And it's exactly at that time that we closed <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay.